Do you not look at the camera when you look? Yeah, you like have to look office. here. Like the office. What do you mean? That's what they do in the office, isn't it? So you're speaking too quiet. I'm speaking too quiet. Yes. <laughs> okay, I have hot. Do you open that window? No, because then you'll get the outside noise. So what? Put your coffee down. I thought you wanted this in the thing. <laughs> look cosy. Well, if you want the coffee, you don't have to have a coffee. Should we just open the window? Let's just open the window. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have, I was going to say, a friend with me. Right, pal. You're more than just a friend. This is my boyfriend, Tom. If you're not a regular watcher, he pops up every once in a while in my lurk. vlogs, lurking in the background. I thought it'd be nice to have a man's perspective for a gift guide. If you missed the gift guide for her, I'll leave it linked. I thought I'd bring you in. And also do it more of a what men really want for Christmas. Any suggestions that I throw out there, feel free to be like, mmm, I feel like a guy would not appreciate that, or... No socks then. I haven't included any socks, but I haven't done my stocking for the gift guide yet. Why is it that men don't like socks for Christmas? Let me just grab my little note. The thing, like a general rule of thumb when it comes to gift guides for him, is that, like we were saying with the socks, practical, you're not that bothered about. I feel like with a guy, you've got to find what their interest is. Am I right? Yeah. So, like, I have a dad, a brother, and you to buy for. Yeah. I'd get my dad, like, flying things. You, you like gadgets Gadget. and food, Food. foodie items. George is very much, my brother is sporty, so I feel like he would appreciate sportswear. Do I not get sporty either? Well, Cricket, sport. you buy it if you want. Yeah, I suppose you're a bit sporty as well. <gasps> Parcel force! Yes. Right, pause. No. We haven't even got started yet. This, this is Christmas gift guide. Parcel Are you going to include it? Honestly, this, this girl is all cool. Right, okay. Tell you what, whilst we're waiting for him, why don't you go pause the video, grab yourselves a nice cosy drink if you haven't already, and we'll finally begin on the ultimate gift guide for him, 2019. I'm gonna hide his phone so he doesn't go on it. See if he notices that I've hidden it. Do you wanna put it over there for now? And then we can do an unboxing at the end of that. Yeah? Let's get this filmed. Come on, let's begin now, because we're 10 minutes into recording, we haven't even said one thing that we recommend. Where's my notebook gone? These are good though. Right, okay, so I've actually categorised into fashion, beauty, beauty, skincare, well beauty, skincare, tech and game, home and food and drink, and experiences. So we'll get started on the first category, which is fashion, and the first sort of section of things that I want to recommend is from Mulberry. So these are more high-end. But ones that you appreciate? Yeah. Okay, starting with the cheapest item. Actually, both of these are priced Achoo. at the same point. Well, yeah, roughly these are around about the £200 mark. For oh, 200 quid? Yeah, Mulberry. It's a rip-off, isn't it? No, we're meant to be recommending these things. Alright, it's good though. So if I got you, I did get you that though, and you didn't like that? I like this. So you think that's, that's worth more? That's that? worth more than that, isn't it? Do you think? Do you not think? Um, well for you, because I suppose you don't use this on a regular basis, but you do use that on a regular basis. Oh, well, you don't even use that one. You do. do for like special occasions. I use this on special occasions. This is a mulberry belt, and what I liked about this when I got it for him was that it's interchangeable, so it's one of these that you Reversible. can... Yeah. So you can have brown or black. We've got a lot to get through, so let's get a bit I'm more speedy. Up. Cracking up. A briefcase. Yeah, but this is like... Really yeah it is, this is definitely a more high end, it all depends on your budget in terms of this video but this is the ultimate gift guide, I am doing more budget videos that's why I'm keeping this a little more luxury and high end but I do have some cheaper items. That briefcase retails from around about £900, that is quite expensive, but a happy medium is your coach backpack. This coach backpack my mum and dad actually got you, was it last year? Or year before? Year before maybe? I think it might have been year before. Um, and you pretty much use this daily. This is more of like an everyday one as opposed to the Mulberry briefcase. I don't think they make this exact one, but very similar is around three to four hundred pounds from Coach. You've still got tissue on your beard. A typical gift that I think most women buy for men for Christmas: slippers, PJs. But you don't really wear PJs, although nice loungewear would be nice. Yeah. And then a dressing gown. I got this one from Amazon, but you can get some really nice luxury ones from the White Company. They are my favourite. Or a good 
uh, like mid-range price point, I think Next is a really good place for dressing gowns. Next. 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 Uh, this was actually a suggestion have, from my mum. No, no, you don't have one. Oh, I shoe stretchers. Where did you get? Where would you go? Like a shoe shop or eBay and Amazon maybe? Yeah, eBay, Amazon just has it all for it. Isn't it? Um, I had a look online. I found around about the eight pound price point. Or well, what's that company called? Charles Hewitt. Tyrrell. Is it? No, Charles Hewitt or something. They Hewitt. they are twenty pounds. I think it's more high. For two. Well, yeah. <laughs> You would never, I'm like, oh, I just need to stretch out this left shoe because I've got one foot bigger than the other. I feel like Uniqlo is a good brand for men for winter coats. I feel like a good winter coat is a good gift idea of which these I think are quite unique in that they are the ultra light down gilets and they do do these in coats, do they? Yeah. Yeah. But they do, they... 20 to 40 pounds you're looking at for something like this. And you've got grey, navy. I do, the, the, the navy one's really thin, so you're supposed to wear it around. This is thin, isn't it? No, this is a thick one. Okay, so they do. So, go on, how do you wear them? I don't the know. The thin ones you can wear under like a blazer or something like that. You can also hide it, it cuts down like that, so you don't even know you're wearing it. Right. So, the next item I wanted to share with you is some kind of a Baker Boy cap or flat cap. This one is from MS got this from Tom for Tom last year in the January sales and he's never worn it. So do you not think this is a good gift idea? I don't I don't mind. You're gonna ruin your hair. Uh, it's ruined it. It's I don't I'm not sure about the colour. Right, so what colour do you have I'd go, in your life? I go darker. Yeah. I think. I'm actually getting my dad one for Christmas this year from Barber. He's gonna get a cream one. No, from he's Mark's not expenses. getting a cream one. <laughs> So this one, if you want to wait for the January sales, or stay tuned for Black Friday sales for some of the more gadgety items, uh, this was in the sale from $27.50 down to $6.99 in January. The Barber ones retail for similar, I think they're about £10 more, about £37. This is the last item which Tom wanted to include, because we have differing opinions on this. I think underwear, this is, stay tuned for an upcoming lounge underwear haul. This is a new set which I have. It's the Blossom Balcony. It is beautiful. This is in the maroon colour. They have loads of different ones available. Don't throw it <laughs> And it has the matching underwear which you can leave down there. It's fine. I think this is beautiful. But I think with underwear, this is where we get to what men really want. I think if you want underwear for Christmas, you should buy the lady underwear. But having said that, if it's you would be happy, open, though, isn't it? like when you go you into don't know what to me and Finny do it every year. We go into Victoria's Secret. It's like, what size is she? And we'll go. You didn't do it for me last year. Did you go in for last year? Well, not every year. But you go in and you're like, what size? And you're like, about half of that. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is news to me because I always would think that buying it. For, can you stop showing that and playing around with that. it? Um, I think. That's good because as a lady, I think you'd be more comfortable buying underwear that you feel good in and that fits you. And if you give it to your man and they open it, I always just would think that you'd be like, what? But obviously not. So that's a good thing. What men really want for Christmas. There you go. Okay, now we're moving on to the beauty category. And the first item is aftershave. I feel like aftershave is a stereotypical one. That's, that's better than that. Yeah, I wanted to include this one. It's a new one, Abercrombie & Fitch Authentic. Nice. It's nice, isn't it? And this is more of a mid-range price point, I would say. I love Abercrombie & Fitch men's scents. I feel like ever since I lived in America and loved Abercrombie & Fitch. This one is £58 and the Tom Ford one, they're from £150. So they are more luxury. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh. These are good though, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're my favourite. Tom Ford is a real luxury. If you're going to spend, I'd say go with Tom Ford. This is actually in Tuscan leather. Oh, the Femine one. Femine is a good one, but I included that in a previous gift guide. That's the only reason why I didn't include it in this one. But um, Tom Ford, I think, is a go-to for me. But Abercrombie & Fitch is a good mid-range price point. Next item. I'll refer to my list. Heels products. It's the army training coming out, isn't it? No, Aria. Oh, oh God. It's a bit different. I like each other, you lot. No, Army and RF don't get on. He's talking about the fact that I'm military upbringing, I'm a military dad, so I'm very precise and organised. It's also the Capricorn in me. Come on. 
don't do star signs. Okay, the next item from the beauty category, I feel like a good brand to invest into is Kiehl's. We've got a whole host of goodies in here. They have some. All this. They have some Christmassy range products. This is the Creme de Corp. It's just a limited edition packaging. Face masks. Um, I personally love the Ultra Facial Cream, uh, but you really like what? <laughs> what? Nothing. No what? Nothing. Good name, isn't it? Ultra Facial Cream. Facial Cream. Facial Cream. <laughs> You're such a child. <laughs> you personally love the facial fuel range, don't you? Yeah, I've not got a big moisturiser to show you. Oh, and this is a hero product of theirs in the Christmassy packaging. This is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate Oil. Do you use this? Yeah, I like it. Okay, I, well forget, I forget to use it though. Well, it's on your tray. I know, but... No, don't open that one, because that one's... We've already got right, yeah, several. Sorry, yeah. I might give that to someone as a gift. That's unbelievable. What? It's good stuff. We've got several... You only give the bad stuff away. Oh, no I don't. Yeah, you do. I also have this that I wanted to show. It's from Molten Brown, and I like the fact that it comes... It's like a Christmas cracker, and inside... I'm not going to open it, because I might, again, keep it as a gift for someone. Inside, there are four mini shower gels. This is the men's one, which has woody and aromatic scents in. Would you appreciate this as a gift? No. Shock. Because you don't like Molten Brown. No, See, I know my dad would love this. It's mini shower gels though, isn't it? It's like... Yeah, but he travels a lot. We just nick them from the hotel then, don't you? Oh, really? Yeah, it's just mini shower gels. So you would gels. rather a full-size shower gel from Molten Brown that's not in a Christmassy wrapping? I'd rather a, a different present than a shower gel. I think shower gel is one of them things where you just buy it when you're asked No, but though. Molten Brown shower gel is like 30, 40 quid. No like Kiehl's. Yeah, Moisturiser, I'll just get you a Nivea one from Poundland at Pound. No, it's not the same, is well, it? Well, for people that like Molten Brown, like my parents love Molten Brown, mm. I hope my dad would appreciate that because he might be getting that this <laughs> year. You might not appreciate this one then. There's nothing wrong with Nivea, is there? Right, so this is from B&M. They do a set. Uh, a box set, brilliant, isn't it? Absolute standard. Nivea box set. English what? gift, innit? Where's the links? The links anywhere down there. I right? didn't get links, I was going to get links. I'm proud of you for not getting links. I was going to get links, but the reason why I went for this Nivea one that they do is because we actually use this moisturiser anyway, don't we? You look at the thing is with box sets, right? You have to keep showing them that. Cause... Box sets. You look at it and it, it's, it's got good weight behind it. Could it be a oh, game? so wrapped up. Could it be like, a Game Boy? Could it be? It's a Nivea box set. Oh. It's, do you know what I mean? <laughs> this is a nice budget one. I think it's... Uh, got deodorant in which is a good deodorant we use it every day yeah, it's got a shower gel which you're gonna use exactly and then i don't know about the cream is this face or body what is this face body hands no i don't want any i've got makeup on i don't want it on if you're on my face but it's good though and not when i'm <laughs> you're such a oh small. you drop it on the carpet drop you on the carpet oh you've got a lot though don't forget that little bit of Right. Oh, because I've got makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> well, just kidding. <laughs> you know, it's some kind of regulation that every camera can't record for longer than half an hour in this country. I, that can't be true. I swear. That can't be true. It cannot, Google it. It cannot be true. Ask her. Is that another thing where all babies are born with blue eyes that you said? Yeah, most babies are born with blue eyes. Will Smith. Maybe not. <laughs> Most babies are born with. He might have been. I'm not having it. It's we'll not Google true. it. Right. Anyway. Hey Google. How long can cameras record for in the UK? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Because it's a stupid question. Tech and game. I'm going to start with a fun one. Well, this just should all be fun, shouldn't they? Just really? wait for this. This is my dun, dun, dun. absolute favourite. It's got a scope. Um, Look at the excitement levels. Because yeah, it makes you like, like young again, doesn't it? I feel like every guy likes a toy or a game on Christmas Day. Something to play with, something to have a bit of fun with. And Nerf guns are brilliant because they're age 8 plus. Well, fantastic. <laughs> eight, um, 8 plus 22. This was the biggest one I found in B&M at 1999. But they... Do you always go for the biggest one? Minute. This one was 19.99. In full price. Full price. Next one was 19.99, reduced to 15. Is this there is a... only 19.99. Yes, you can have it if you want. If you really want it. I just think they'd be such good fun um, 
for like when it's rained off at cricket. Oh god. This second one, Nerf as well, but it's laser so you connect it to your app. So it was reduced to £15. I like the idea of it, but in a sense it doesn't shoot anything out because it's laser. It goes to your phone. Ah, right. So, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's not as fun, is it? I don't old, think so. Old school is better, but this is fun. But look, you put your phone on a strap on your wrist yeah. and you shoot people. Like, it's a laser. Where do you shoot, though? You've got to aim for their arm. you got to aim for their arm? Yeah. That's teaching. Nothing physically... <laughs> well, you, or you can put it around your head, I suppose. <laughs> That already out of the box. Come on, we're not playing with it today. This is just a suggestion. So which would you be happier to receive? I think I'd prefer this one. Okay, 19.99. I thought you would. Do you Can remember I... Ralph was really scared of the Nerf oh, gun? Yeah, that was funny. Oh, bless him. That was funny. You'd point at him and he'd like quiver. This is Tom's, I was going to say, old dog. His best friend's dog. Yeah, well that's he how used we, to live here. That's how we kind of got him to like, stop no, misbehaving. No, say that. No, I just pointed at him. And he'd literally go run to his bed. Yeah, so. I never, Tail between his legs. Never shot him. Petrified, quivering with fear. You quivering like that. <laughs> the next item that I wanted to suggest or recommend is some kind of speaker. Yeah, some kind of speaker. The one we have is the Bose Soundlink Mini. These are good. I believe they don't stock them now, but I have seen them in black, so maybe there's a new edition. There's a new one, yeah. It's a darker, dark grey one. These are good because you can take them away with you, but in the house, the Sonos one's better, isn't it? Well, I was going to suggest the Sonos. What's the new one? New gen voice activated or something? The Sonos one, and it's got a Google Assistant in it. Yeah, so you speak to Alexa, or no? Google. Oh, but I've, I'm sure it works with Alexa as well. There's an Alexa one, and there's a Google one. Okay. I think. So if you're going to go for one, how much is the Sonos one? I've actually written it down. So last one is 179. Are you sure? That's just for, for the one. From 179. All right, yeah. Um, and the Bose speakers. This one I saw on Amazon for 150 pounds. So what, similar. Bose actually have one that you can take away with you now as well. Right. That's the whole selling point of this. Yeah, it's very good though, isn't it? This has good, got good sound. Yeah. Yeah, we love that. Tom puts it on downstairs, and it really you, you can have it in one room downstairs, and it'll sound the whole house pretty much. But we are in a small yeah. house, but it, it's really really good. Glitter on your face. Come here. Oh. <laughs> the next item within the tech category is something from Apple. So forget price point, because they'll everyone will have a complete different range of budgets. What yeah. would you recommend from the Apple store? The best thing that I've got is the iPad Pro, but it's well expensive in it. So iPad Pro is a top tier. Top tier. You love that. Really good. Apple Watch. Not a big fan. Personally, Tom's I'm... not a fan. I did get it for him. Me and my mum, me and my mum, me and your mum yeah. bought it for you and he traded it for the iPad Pro and did you pay the difference or did I give him the money? I can't remember. No, I yeah, so he ended up putting it towards something that you really like. You, But you have mentioned the watch in the past. I think the watch is a good idea. But I don't think it's for you. For me, yeah. Right. The next thing I think from Apple is AirPods. Yeah. These are one three nine. Yeah. But the new ones are two five nine. They're better. So you would prefer getting the Pro. What? Why are they Pro? They're noise cancelling. Okay. And you can they're, that. they're um, the sound's supposed to be better. Drone. What's new? Mavic Mini. New one three six nine. 369 Mavic. It's tiny though, it's like that big, isn't it? I'm conscious that you're in the sun I'm now. I'm properly in the sun now. Well, where can we go? These are cool, aren't they? Be careful because I think I've took the roof off. Oh, you have bro. Oh, no, you have Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that. So we built this couple of, I feel like we must have got this two years ago now. I don't think it was. Oh, it? at least two. Maybe even three. But we've got a Mini. We've got a Ferrari. And they've just made a Land Rover Defender. Have they? Yeah, Land Defender, yeah. Do you want that for Christmas? Or would you appreciate that? We could make it and expand the collection. He doesn't want me to buy anything for it. No. But you'd be happy with that. Cool. Okay, it's a bit dusty. These are around about the £80. Probably is when you get kids around and you're like... Mm. Yeah, don't touch, touch it. it. What about a games console? I didn't really know what to suggest here. Nintendo Switch? That's the one to go for, yeah. What about like a... They do a light now as well, switch light, so you don't, you can't plug it into the 
telly, but you can play with it on the move, so it's more like a Game Boy. Like on the go type thing. Yeah. And the last one within this category of tech and games, on Not On The High Street, just a bit of fun, something to maybe get as a couple, something you can do together. Can we keep this? Because I know that all these will be actually films that I want to yeah. watch and you won't want to watch. You think that, but they also do a cult classics one. Look at these straight away. Old Boy, Snatch, Fight Club. Do you want to do this unbelievable. then? Unbelievable. Okay, well let's do it. Yeah, but you won't want to watch them. No, I, I will. I like a list. Lovely. So honestly, that will give me pleasure in ticking off the list. There'll be lots and lots and lots, and lots of love stories on Let here. Let me see. Oh no. When he says love story, he means war films. I don't like war films. Grand Budapest Hotel, Goonies, Lawrence of Arabia. Where have they got the... Lawrence of Arabia? <laughs> That's what she says in Sex and the City. <laughs> Uh, it's £12. They do other ones like cult classics. I think they have a different variety of maybe like love ones or Christmas ones. I don't know. I just oh. went for this day. I know. Don't sneak that in. I know. I won't sneak that in. This is just a classic 100 movies. What's That's this? really good. This is tech. So go on and talk about that. I don't know what that is. Just okay. More about battery. What's it called? Where'd you get it from? Zendure. They were like the premium book. Show the camera. Okay. They're like premium. Uh, what is it, batteries? Um, external batteries. Ah! <laughs> I'm sick and sweaty. You don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> get out. <laughs> Be gone. Right, next category. We're on to home and food and drink now. So, um, run through these a little bit quickly because I've not got loads of items to, do, to show you. First thing within the home category is of course the Google Home. I actually get quite a lot of questions about what that is behind that candle. It's the Google Home Hub, which is one. the price... They make a big one now. Oh no, that is the Home Hub at 119 Yeah. And then they've got the Home, which is like that shape, no, they make which bigger, we have downstairs. Bigger hub. Oh right, okay. It's like that, like, it's well cool. So they have Google Home Mini, which is like a little round dish. It's now called a Nest Mini. Is it? Yes. So it's part of Nest, not Google Nest. Google or Nest. So the next thing that I wanted to suggest as part of the... Well, stop looking at my armpits now. The uh, Philips... You haven't done these. Huh? No. Nope. Oh, I included them in a previous year. They're not in. Beats headphones, if you want to get them, I'll leave them linked. I haven't made the cut. I made the they cut. didn't make the cut this year. Uh, these lights, Philips Hue lights that... I don't know if you can see that, just scooch on oh, no, it this way. So go on, ask it to do what it's saying. Oh, hey right. Google, turn the lights in the bedroom red. Ah, oh, you can. Hugh Thunder, we're in. Move over a bit. Where to? Oh, are you still showing the lights? You can't really see because it's not, uh, it's daytime. They're blue at the minute. Oh, flashing. You see them flashing? You can have them set in the morning to slowly turn on and wake you up. Well, good I hate, I actually hate that. Yeah. I don't like the, because then I like wake up and I'm like, why are the lights on? What's going on? When it's dark outside at this time of the year at six in the morning when we get up. Yeah, but you don't notice that as soon as now it's dark when you wake up, you wake up and you're like, oh, I can't be able to get up. But I in summer, you're well, all right. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I don't. Can we look just at try that. it? What? Well, My foot. What about it? Can you not see that tan? Oh yeah, that's manky that. We never turn them red, let me just put that out there now. Turn red every Wednesday, once a month. On my Last birthday. Wednesday of every month, that's book club night. Book plug. Book plug, that's what we call our book club. Another thing that I wanted to suggest as part of the home category is the Uni pizza oven. Oh yeah. I don't know whether to suggest that or not. They've made a new one now as Have well. Have they? Yeah, what's it called? Coda, Unicoda. Really? Yeah. Same thing, peach rubber. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, that's a cool idea actually. Yeah. Cool yeah. For a guy, yeah. I love cold coffee, it's great, isn't it? I was too hot at the start. I still drink cold coffee. It's too double hander. I like the coziness. It's cold. <laughs> Okay, we've we've had a lot of expensive gifts, so I'm going to go more affordable now, and it's kind of home stationery category. Diary. Yeah, you get me one every year, don't you? And a good pen. It doesn't have to be. I know yours is Mont Blanc, which is like 300 quid. It doesn't have to be that decent. Just a good pen and diary set. You're going to cut all this out. Yeah. Don't worry. Cut that. No. 
now we're getting a bit more budget. Nespresso. Well, not necessarily, because this is a travel mug, 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 mug <laughs> which I would recommend. They also have an advent calendar. I did include a beauty advent calendar in the gift guide for her. Um, but Nespresso do one for £25, where you get a little coffee pot every day. I've got a hair in my lip and it's... There we go. 25 quid. And how many days is it? 25. A pound a day. Oh, wow. They're usually 30p a pod. So actually it's... It's a bit of a rip-off then, isn't it? It is, but I like... It is, isn't yeah, it? Massive rip off. I tell you what, I'll buy the pods and I'll put them in. Make me one. Well, I'm not going to do that. Well, that's why I. But I'm not stopping anyone else doing that. For the work out. <laughs> For the person that works out. Some workout gear. Where did you get this workout mat from? TK Maxx? Yeah. This retails online for £27, this exact one. Um, oh, that was nearly a coffee over. Not on that rug. That would have been a problem. Put it over there. Would well, that have been a divorce, that? We're not married. You've got to marry me. You've got to put a ring on it. If you like it, put a ring on it. <clears throat> We're not really drinkers, but we As got this. This, for six years. <laughs> this is six years. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I wanted to recommend or just show this one is because this is like a wine port, is it? Port, yeah. um, which wine port. It, but isn't port wine? Well, the reason why I'm showing this is because it's from Aldi, and I think Aldi's alcohol top. is really good. Yeah, it is. Not that I'm a drinker, but Mum likes their champagne. She likes champagne. Yeah. Moving on to experiences now, I, I'm just going to run through a list because obviously we don't have anything to show you but the first thing, this is a really cool idea, in London they have this thing called the Secret Cinema where you can go, you book tickets and it's an immersive experience where they take you along and they run for months so that you can book whichever date you want. The one that they're currently running is for Stranger Things. So it's themed Stranger Things. The one they've just done was James Bond. Tickets start from £49. So this one that they're running now is from November to February. It's for Stranger Things. You become a resident of Hawkins. And how, how, it must be like hours and end then if it's Stranger Things. I think it's like a day. Buy tickets. You don't know where you're going. But when you get told where you're going, you just turn up and you go with it. Failing that, if you're not that into being that immersive, a cinema gift card. I hate gift cards. Why? I like giving someone money but forcing them to do something with it. My mum got you a Kiehl's gift card. I love should. gift cards. So hard to buy. You see, as with Tom, if we want something, we'll just buy it. That's... No. Look at that massive box of Adidas. You could have asked for those bits for Christmas, but you didn't. Yeah, true. I think that's why we buy holidays for each other, and that's my next thing that I was going to mention. Where have we been to in the past? Amsterdam, um, Barcelona, Marrakesh, Crete, Dubai. Barcelona. Oh, and Sorrento, Naples. You didn't say that one. Favorite one. It rained the whole it, it, time. It did, but I'll, uh, I've got. That wasn't your favorite one. What about Dubai? Uh, I've been to you Dubai. Prefer... Yeah. They've all been good, to be fair. Oh, Berlin. We didn't say Berlin. Berlin's down on the list. Though. Yeah, for me, it's one that I've kind of. It was all right. I think Berlin's a bit like a Manchester. Yeah. It's nice to live there, but yeah. in terms of to visit, it's not really. It's not awe inspiring, is it? No. And then, if you don't want to spend on a full holiday, there may be a day out. So something in the UK. Clever the driving Road. experience. Sunday, June. It's about five pound a ticket. Clever Road's biggest beer garden. Shh. No. A driving experience, segway experience, shooting experience. I, I was going to get you a sniper experience. I love that. In the lakes. Do yeah, you want to well go? That, yeah. It's a full day out. Give me a message, tell me who you are. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I like that though. Is it a sniper like a proper sniper? Because I was looking for a handgun guns, experience. Guns like that. Yeah. You're in the middle of, and they've got a target way, way in the distance. That's it's really cool. That's very fun. cool. Okay, well maybe we should look to book that then. Me, you, Finney and Emily should do that. Yeah. Or Lauren and Jimmy or someone. Yeah. We're all over that. Because then we could do the uh, training for the 100k walk as well. They provide food and stuff for Come out the weekend oh, of it. I don't want to do training for that though. Cause no, you don't have to do it. You just sit and drink. Just come for a walk. Drink. No, Diet Coke. Coffee, yeah. No, we could do the walk training and then yeah. we all do the shooting. Okay, well we'll have a look at that. Um, and also, tickets is the last one. So you said tickets? No, not holiday tickets, as in like for a comedy show or for a concert or for... A game of cricket. Well, I was going to say the last thing, sport event. Clitheroe. Who would want to go and watch the cricket? 
over New Year. We've just signed Cole Heyman this year and he's really quick. Stop, because this is so irrelevant to the majority of my viewers, by the one out there from your cricket club. Peter did stride into the crease on a oh, Sunday afternoon. I mean, all there's right, nothing all right. To... We're going to round off this video here. Did you enjoy your first appearance? Loved it's it. not that bad is it it's chilled loved it i've got myself into it as it went on so there we have it that is our gift guide for him 2019 i hope you guys enjoyed it stop looking at my armpit and then you're going to try and go for it hope you all enjoyed it thumbs up if you did and if you want to see tom in more videos then be sure to let us know in the comments below it's nice when you pop in for every once in a while okay my lurker my boyfriend lurker. rates my outfits Tits. outfits <laughs> My God, someone with Tourette's then. Tits. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next week for lots more gift guides to come. Bye, guys.